Imagine buying a brand new vehicle, putting over 135,000 kilometers on it in not even three years, and never cleaning it once. Well, that's exactly what happened to this one, and the results are exactly what you'd imagine. Absolute carnage. Hey, what's going on guys? And welcome back to another disaster detail. Now, today I'll be working on this 2021 Ford Explorer. And while the exterior isn't all that bad, the inside is packing a major punch from dirt to garbage and all the way to giant hairballs. I'll be pulling all kinds of nasty things from this vehicle in the pursuit of making it look brand new. So stay tuned. All right guys, well, as I get to work on the Explorer today, I wanted to quickly remind you guys about the second channel, the Detail Geek 2. I've seen tons of comments recently asking for ASMR videos, and for those of you who enjoy those style of videos, you're in luck because the second channel is full of them. And while I'm shamelessly plugging myself, go check out my new show on Snapchat too. Spraying out these crevices now and I'm a little surprised there wasn't more dirt flowing out of here considering how much gravel this vehicle sees. But anyways, I wanted to quickly correct a mistake. In the opening, I said this was a 2021 Explorer, which is what the owner told me. But after seeing the odometer on this thing, I questioned its age. And sure enough, after checking the door sticker, it's actually a 2020. But 85,000 miles in about two and a half years is still crazy. Getting to the underside now, and for anyone wondering where you can get one of these super slick undercarriage sprayers, then just check out the description as I've got the link to them down there for you. Okay, next up is to get some bug remover sprayed on the front end here. You can find this on my website at detailgeekautocare.com where you can pick up a bottle for less than what Mike spends on Timbits every week.
Turning to the floor mats now, and I'll quickly get all the loose dirt, garbage, and hairballs dumped out so I can get to work on cleaning them with some of my all-purpose cleaner and my green drill brush. Okay guys, well time for the main event now and that's this disaster of an interior. But before I can do anything in here, I need to remove all the seats because the mess is literally everywhere. There's sticky goo and tons of hair down the sides of all the seats. But once they're out, we can see the whole scope of the disgusting mess in here. All right, well I'll get to work now picking up all the bigger pieces of garbage and debris, including the hairballs, so that they don't end up in the vacuum where they could easily cause a clog. And yes, that has happened to me numerous times before, so it's always good to try to avoid extra unnecessary work. Now as I work my way around with the vacuum, I just wanted to say that I don't think I've ever seen so much human hair in a vehicle before. Now it's not all human, there is dog hair in here as well, but after seeing a few hairbrushes in here earlier, I have to think that the owner's kids regularly brush their hair in the car and might also pull it all out from the brush in one giant clump. At least that's the only reason for that giant hairball that I can think of. And with all this hair, you might ask why I'm not using the Lily brush today, and that's simply because the hair isn't really trapped in the fibers of the carpet, and the vacuum is able to suck it up pretty easily.
Okay, getting to work on the carpets now. And of course, I'll be using my Detail Geek carpet cleaner today to make these look new again. It's been one of the best selling items over at DetailGeekAutoCare.com for a while now. And it's no surprise, this stuff can work magic on even the nastiest carpets and seats. As you've been seeing in my videos for years now, it comes in a concentrate and a ready to use version. So I'd highly recommend grabbing a bottle or two for those inevitable spills or stains. Here's the half bucket of nasty water pulled out of the Explorer's carpets today. Gross. Now as I work on the back seat here with my leather cleaner and the steamer, I just wanted to mention that the little storage compartments beside these seats were probably some of the grossest I've seen in quite a long time. There was probably a solid inch of sticky goo topped with some hair on both sides. And while I wanted to film cleaning that for you, the location of the compartments made it pretty much impossible to get a viewable angle on it, but just know they were super gross. Alright, since I've got the seats out of the vehicle, I'm going to get the leather conditioned right now so it's easier for me to do, 
and doing it now also makes it easier to apply 303 next with the seat still out. Okay guys, I'm almost done with this Explorer, but not before I get the paint protected with some of my ceramic spray coating, which is super easy to apply. Just spray it into a microfiber towel and apply to a section, and then when it's flashed and starts to evaporate, you remove it with a second towel, leaving the paint nice and glossy. All right guys, well it took a grueling 15 hours to undo the colossal disaster that this vehicle was when I started and to get it looking like it just rolled off the showroom floor again. But I do have to say, this was probably one of the stickiest vehicles that I've ever done. Uh, it was just a sticky mess everywhere and I went through quite a few pairs of gloves today. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. I know Mike loves it when you do that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and I'll catch you guys in the next one.